All right, guys, well, we are down here at the range today to do a really fun video, and it's on the CCI shot shell. So commonly known as snake shot or rat shot. This fits 38 special and 357 Magnum. Now I've always wanted to try this stuff, but I've never just got my hands on some. So a huge shout out to those guys at American Pawn and Gun. They donated the rat shot or snake shot to the channel to make a test video and see how it performs. So if you're ever in Monroe, North Carolina on 74, go swing by American Pawn and Gun and check those guys out. They've got a great selection of new and used firearms and they donate stuff to the channel to help make really cool videos. So to start off, we're gonna kind of be doing a spread test from three and seven yards with about a two and a half inch barrel 357 and an eight inch barrel 357 to see the spread patterns. I've got some targets set up down range with kind of snakes painted on them to see how many pellets actually hit at those different distances. Let's do some shooting and have some fun. Here's the EAA 357 Windicator. This has got about a two and a half inch barrel. So let's take some shots at the left target with this rat shot or snake shot and see how it does. We're at three yards now, then we'll step it back to seven and see the spread difference right on the left target. All right, guys, so you can see the size of my hand. This was at three yards with that small barrel and I was aiming right at the center of the snake. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, about 20 pellets actually hit the snake throughout the entire length, so. Pretty effective close up. It definitely hit it in multiple spots. But so you can see how far the spread is on this guy. So let's take it back to seven yards and see if it's still effective at all. Seven yards, small barrel. Let's see how it does on that left target. All right, well you can see I aimed right at the center and only two or three pellets actually hit the painted snake. So the spread is huge. It comes down into the dirt. It actually comes over on this target and it just spreads out wide. So seven yards is really pushing it for the snake shot. Three yards, eight inch barrel revolver. Well, it seems like the spread is actually about the same as that three inch. So, you know, you can see a lot of hits right here moving on up through here. So about the same amount of hits with those on that painted stake. Let's step it back to seven yards and see if that's an improvement with the long barreled revolver. Seven yards, let's take the shot. All right, well the spread is still huge. It just expands all the way off the target and around. So that is a huge spread and you can see where the wadding's hitting on all of those shots. So I'm aiming right at the center and then that spread is coming out here. So this one actually has maybe three or four hits on that painted snake, so about the same as the other one. So really no difference depending on barrel length of this revolver. It might matter a little bit, but I think luck at seven yards is gonna matter more than barrel length. But at three yards, that's a really good effective distance for this snake shot. So now we've determined right around three yards seems like the optimal distance to take a shot at a snake or a rat or something that's bothering you in your camp. But what happens if something bigger comes at you or you have to defend your life from an attacker? Could this snake shot actually work? Now I don't have any ballistics gel, but I did want to try just the simple test that if you're layered up with some camp clothes or a couple of t-shirts, which I have folded up down there, can this snake shot penetrate even through clothing? Let's try it out at five yards and see. All right, you can see where it caught our wadding. So that's the wadding that pushes out all that shot and you can see it's peppered. So at five yards, you can see the spread is still well around that shirt. But let's flip it up and see if anything went through. And no. So it looks like the shirt had actually caught everything. So there's no holes anywhere in this shirt. Um, maybe at the fringe down here, you could see something actually came through where it was real thin and nicked it, but this is not a defensive tool for large animals or an attacker. And finally, to show you that I don't like wear Kevlar bulletproof t-shirts, here's a 38 special at five yards. Entry hole, exit hole, and then it went deep into the dirt, so. You know, that, was, that snake shot is really not powerful at all for a really large game defensive tool. 
So in summary, guys, this stuff is really awesome, especially in a camp bag, a bug out bag, something like that. It provides you with a small defensive tool against snakes, rats, and small varmint close up within about three yards. After seven yards, it's more like spray and pray. I'm not quite sure if you're going to be able to hit your target. It's definitely not a defensive tool for large game or an attacker because as we saw, it didn't go through some t-shirts, so I doubt it would stop somebody who's really after you, especially a large wild animal. Functionally, this stuff ran great in both of the revolvers. I don't foresee any problems actually cycling this stuff through any of your guns, but it does come in a 10 pack and we've dumped through one full pack and part of this pack just to make sure that it cycles reliably. So take a few shots out of that 10 pack cycle them through and then make sure it works for your particular gun and then you've got the rest to load up your cylinder for a camp day or put in your bug out bag so if you guys like this video please check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching